Hello and welcome everyone again to another video and in this video as you guys might see there is three Pokemons two of them I don't have and I asked someone I asked on stream if someone have Shadow Giraffe because I want to try this Pokemon but I don't have one the one I have is literally 1501 CP or 02 so uh, Lil Winery uh, she's a mod in my channel and many many channels a uh, very known member in the community she suggested that she could send me some battles so I appreciated that and I asked her like if if possible, uh, so we can see how, uh, whether this Pokemon worth mentioning or no. I do think that it's a very underrated Pokemon. Like, it's a very solid Pokemon with energy, up energy, because you kind of need one double kick ahead of, uh, to be one double kick ahead of the Noctowl to beat Noctowl. Otherwise, you lose the Noctowl. You beat the fighters like Vigoroth, Vigoroth, and Obstagoon, because you have double kick. Uh, some people though then confusion. So first matchup, Vigoroth Mir. How's she gonna play this matchup? Well, it depends. Like, do you want CMP or do you don't want CMP? That's the thing. You can actually live a body slam and still get to another body slam without shielding. So that's like the main, the the, the way I like to play this matchup is like don't shield, and yeah, don't shield. Play the zero. Uh, opponent didn't shield as well, and this is what. Giraffe egg need one double kick ahead of everything in this meta. Now you can literally win this straight thunderbolt. Uh, but she decided to bait. I don't. I'm not against the bait to be honest because this thing hits so hard. Okay, first psychic thing didn't shield. Uh, okay, I mean it's not the end of the world if they shield this, but it's kind of bad if they no shield. Okay, they decided to shield, and what was that? Ice Fing, Shadow Hippodon, I think Home Slice and made a thing about this video. Uh, made, a, made a video about this Pokemon. Okay, uh, the good thing is that we have another Psychic thing, so they have to shield one, and now all double need to do is going straight Body Slam. I wouldn't shield here because the Wing Con is kinda calling a bait, but it's not the end of the world. I think even if it's a bait, you should be fine because you still live the Earth Power if they have it, because this is non Shadow, and double is like. Uh, Vigoroth slightly above average, slightly above Vigoroth bulk, so it's kind of it's kind of a bulky Pokemon, and that was an amazing win right there. Okay, moving into the next battle, let's see. Okay, Q time in twenty eight fifty. Q time in twenty eight fifty. Okay, moving to the battle, Flygon Shadow. I think Flygon is also another underrated Pokemon. Because, especially if you have a shadow one, uh, because the dragon tail adds up on everything, but it's a very glass cannon Pokemon, but to be honest, you're getting the shields back. Uh, the problem with these Pokemon is that if you don't have energy up, it's, I th think, similar to Jephyr Giraffe, you need energy, a slight energy ahead of everything to beat, every to beat most of the stuff. But look at this, it's actually not bad. Like, they were able to, well, they had to double shield. Uh... This is an actually good uh, recognition by the winery going going to double and instead throwing because Okay, I want to see so she doesn't need to shield here and she made the correct decision and all you needed to do is just throwing this payback and then you have two Pokemons against one so it doesn't matter what they have Giraffe like, should take this win. Uh, so that psychic thing is the way to go and then the double kick. Look how much the double kick is doing. Giraffe is kind of cute. <laughs> I wish I had this Pokemon. I would have played it since day one. Because it did destroy Obstagoon. Uh, you 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 outpace Vigoroth as well. Because it's 4.5, 4 4.5, 4 4.5. And then 3 seconds. To get to the move. Okay, I, oh, sorry. I forgot there is, there is Q time here. Okay. Moving into the next battle. We have Vigoroth into Flygon again. Did, did someone make a video about Shadow Flygon? So here, you, as a Vigoroth, you want to throw on 7, which she did throw on 7. That's uh, that's the correct timing. Uh, opponent is over farming and to make sure that they're throwing good timing. So it's four, it's 6 seconds for them every time to get to a Dragon Claw, which means Vigoroth can outpace. And everyone has been double shielding. So the correct play here as a Vigoroth, you just take the shield advantage, just as like Lil Wine is, has been doing. Then you go double and instant body slam. Uh, she got the bug where like you can't have the move, you go above the move, but it's not a bad idea. You can just over farm, or like you can just farm them down and leave the matchup with a payback. 
uh, they have a Makargo with Incinerate. So I don't think this is a bad idea throwing that move. But it's kind of... Okay, never mind. I'm like, if they throw the... Uh, the Rock Tomb is going to be... It's going to be a little bit annoying. But they threw the Overheat and then they swapped out. So this is where Giraffic is actually nice. Is that you can... Like the second one here is, is almost going to KO. She's throwing good timing. I don't think timing matters here, but if it doesn't KO, it does matter. See, like, it doesn't matter, but if you need, if it doesn't KO, it does matter. Which didn't KO. Okay, now one double kick should do the job, and that was an amazing play by Lil Winery. Okay, moving into the next battle. And we have a Vigoroth into Obama Snow. Obama Snow has nowhere to go. This is this team is technically, if you guys remember, the double counter team by... by uh, by uh Walwar. this is like a triple counter team like everything here has a fighting fast move so double instead of obstagoon and and uh giraffe instead of the ox's defense so this matchup is actually slightly uh, in uh, the longer it goes the more it, it the more it gets it become like double favor and in double's favor because doubles more is a spammier and a bit bulkier. Look at this. Like double was able to beat uh, Vigoroth, and now Obama Snow is almost at no HP. So I agree with this play. You go Vigoroth. You know shield. You take the move. Then you could swap out. You could also stay in to put them through the next one, which is the correct play. Yo, line is sweeping. Uh, I think. She could have done one more double kick just to throw in good timing. But it's not the end of the world because you're going to outpace this Swampert. Because all you need to do is just shield and throw the next move. Yeah, you don't care about timing here because they won't get to the move. Yes, if they don't get to the move, you should throw in bad timing. So if, the, if you move KO, you should throw in bad timing. Which what she did. That was a nice... Four, I think that was a 5-0 set. And yeah, okay, moving to the next set now. So the she sent me three sets, but they they weren't in the in the in, like I put them in like one two three order or something. Uh, Vigoroth and Noctowl. Noctowl wins the zero and the one. Vigoroth wins the two. But in this matchup with this team, you need to to, to save a shield at least for the uh, for the giraffe giraffe right. So all you need to do is here as a Vigoroth is spam those body slams. You could shield once, but I don't like that. Look at that. They didn't shield. So shielding here isn't a bad idea, but this is a perfect scenario for like getting energy lead. Look at that. There is two free double kicks. Uh, they were able to get to the move. That kind of that's kind of bad. Uh, they have U Fisk, which is good and not good. Like if they have G Fisk, it would have been much worse. But if they, since they have U Fisk, you can just tank a discharge so long good timing do one then throw a psychic fang and the psychic fang is not resisted right it's neutral and yeah these double kicks will add up uh since you snuck there there is a, an argument about shielding here which she did so you can do one two three and throw but they swapped out right so all you need to do is just debuff them and then go double and spam the heck out of it so the correct timing here if you swap you throw on on even number but she didn't throw now after they throw you, you you decide like you you go back to one three five seven. Uh, I think the game is kind of GG now. Yeah. Uh, the fact that Nocta will get a move onto the giraffe egg that was like game over. Because you need giraffe to have energy lead, but you can't afford it if giraffe is uh, in the shield disadvantage. Okay, moving to the next battle, we have Vigorot and Nocta. Maybe we'll see. Maybe that matchup was IV dependent. Like that trainer doesn't run, run a good good uh, bulky uh, ivs like just low attack high defense and hp uh sky attack comes in okay let's see uh i don't think i don't think the winery shield here so she's throwing cmp that was that was good and maybe because she realized last game because that was throw, someone thrown not on cmp they have double wall what does that mean she's in a good spot here because she takes like like this giraffe takes super effective sorry take a neutral and you do super effective both are non-stab but 
you can win CMP, which means you always throw on CMP and you get to the move at the same time. They decided to shield. You could shield. I'm honestly, I honestly think it's a good idea because you're going to get one double kick here for free. And then you have your double plus giraffe egg against one Pokemon. The, yes, they have another one with search, which is one HP, but look at that damage. That was lots of damage. Swampert is already all, like Swampert is like can be fast moved down. The, the, the Hydro can easily one shot here. And all this thing need to do is just double kicking everything down as long as Noctowl does not get to a move well uh, I think if she did one more Noctowl will get to a move so that was actually the correct play you get to two then throw them back to back here and then you farm down the swamp part that was a very well played little winery okay moving to the next one we have Vigoroth into Stunfisk uh, Ufisk I mean, it's a stun fisk, but it, it's you fisk, okay? So, what's the correct play here? Well, Vigoroth has fast move pressure. You fisk doesn't have fast move pressure. So, every play is a correct play. Uh, I think you have to swap out at one point because you need this Vigoroth for like some fast move pressure later, but it's not a bad idea if you can get a shield advantage, which what she got here. That was, a, that was actually a good play. So, now. All you need to do is just throw these body slams. You don't even need to take any damage. And then you just rely on outnumbering the opponent. Because look at this. There is two Pokemons and a half with two shields. Against one Pokemon and a half with one shield. So Matt says that this matchup should be an easy win. Right? Let's see. Okay. You don't need to shield. Obstruct. What's wrong with you, opponent? <laughs> don't obstruct. Please. Don't, don't. Just don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Okay, it's not worth your time, not worth your skills, just do something else. Okay, this is an easy shield here. And that was a night slash, so now all you need to do is just throw in good timing, so you don't give them any, any fast move, any free fast moves, and you just uh, psychic thing all the way. Yes, you don't need to shield the first one in case they decide to go mud, mud, mud bomb. And that was good timing. One, two, three. Uh, and let's see, does it KO? It almost does, so this is an easy shield. And fast moving, fast moving down now everything. And I, that's a game. Uh, is this the last battle? No, I think there's two more. Uh, now moving into the next one. Who's that? White Susan Boyle. Nice screenshot, little winery. Are you fine girling uh, White Susan Boyle? <laughs> Do you take a screenshot if you queue into Crimson? Or it's just White Susan Boyle? Why Susan Boyle is, a, is an amazing battler from Vancouver. He's also a streamer. I think he was... He got to the day two in the Vancouver regional last year. And he had like phenomenal play. He is one of the best players in Pokemon Go and Pokemon Unite. Uh, see guys, this is the correct play that she's been trying to do. Which is like getting energy lead on Giraffe Egg. And also no shielding the Vigoroth. So this giraffe is just gonna out spam everything. They didn't shield. This is the first opponent that didn't shield, which is the correct play. Like as a figure out, you're not supposed to shield because you don't win. And that's the thing, guys. If you don't win in a matchup, you don't commit shields because if you're losing regardless, you just try to do some pressure. Okay, you don't try to win it. Psychic thing comes in here, and all you need to, she need to do now is just spamming those body slam. I just noticed this thing has. A bad IV. That was a nice shield, by the way. That was a nice shield. 1474. And by the way, this is a lucky double for those people who always say, always complain about not having double, aka me. You could just lucky trade one and then settle with the IV until they bring it back. I wish Niantic could bring back this Pokemon. Uh, and look at this double. Like, we're trying to just make content about giraffering and double. Hard carrying every game so far. Well, to be honest, Giraffatic is doing something, but Giraffatic is taking all the uh, the spotlight, right? Use use uh, Vigoroth to get you uh, a scenario where Giraffatic can get an energy lead, and then use the shields on Giraffatic and let the other two just take all the damage in the world. <laughs> okay, that was. Uh... What is happening? Yo, no Q. Blaziken. This is a cord breaker to the team. But Blaziken against Vigoroth is not a bad matchup, by the way. Why? Because Vigoroth can just out-spam that chicken. It's a monkey against chicken. Who do you think will win? You can actually shield here. 
and get to another body slam. Uh, at this point, I think you, you aggressively swap to Giraffe Egg. Okay, see, they double shielded. Uh, so here's the thing, since Giraffe Egg is psychic normal, that means uh, counter is neutral. It's not super effective, right? Uh, they are about to get to the move, so she had to throw here. Uh, one, two, three. That was correct timing. Uh, does this thing live a body slam? I haven't seen this thing tanking. I don't think so. I think body slam KOs at this point. But the, the good news is that it's debuffed. So the double kick from double will do more. So uh, I think I would have just killed it, to be honest. But I don't think I don't think that would do anything. Because you need more energy to beat anything in the back. Like, yeah, like see? So she do one more. She's supposed to do one more than throw. Which what she did here. That was actually the correct play. Now all you need to do is to play that they don't get to the move. Which they didn't. And this is an amazing game, by the way. Very well played, Little Winery. That was a very good game. And yeah, thank you so much, Little Winery, for sending me these battles. Appreciate you taking the time uh, to record this double wall slash giraffe egg, putting them in one team. The po two Pokemons I wanted to make content about. And yeah, that, there was like some nice gameplay right there. And yeah, thank you so much for watching as well. Uh, this is the end of the video. And if you haven't liked the video until now, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. It's free. Help the channel to grow as well. Do it so I can up upgrade more videos. Uh, up upgrade. Upload. <laughs> so yeah. See you in the next video. And thank you again, Little Winery. Peace.